In this example, we are looking at something called dividends, which are paid to corporations. Now, remember, a corporation is not an individual, it's a business. So a dividend is paid from one business to another business. When you So dividends come from a business and you're paying it to a corporation or another business. So for instance, say we have two companies. We have company A and company B. This one right here in company A owns 30% of company B. So which means they own 30% of the stocks. And then in what that also means is that they would also receive amount, they would receive a percentage of the income that company B pays out as dividends. So the problem is, is that if company A owns company B and company B pays, say, a thousand dollars in dividends, in theory, they should pay the tax on the thousand dollars dividends. But by tax code, there is something called an exemption, which says that if a company owns, and there's a little chart here, less than 20%, they are exempt on 70% of the revenues that they received on the dividends. And if they own between 20 to 80% of the company, they are 80% exempt. And if they are greater than 80% of the company, they're 100% exempt. So let's run this out as an equation, just so you can see this. So we have company A and company B, and they own 30%. So company A receives from company B $1,000 in dividends. Now, since they own 30%, let's go back to this chart right here, they own 30%, they are 80% exempt. And that is based upon the amount of ownership. So, in this particular case, you have $1,000 and you multiply it by 80, which would be 800, okay? Or you take 1,000, you minus 800. And the taxable, because this is 20%, because 80% exempt, taxable amount of money is $200 or 20%. So company A will only have to pay 20% tax, I said company A will only have to pay tax on 20% of the amount of dividends they receive from B based on ownership. Now, if they own less than 20% and they received $1,000, they own less than 20%, they would have 30% of the money coming in would be taxable. If they own more than 80%, then 100% of this would be exempt or they would not pay any taxes on the dividends they received from one company to another. This will carry, this will carry forward into one of our equations uh, that we have for the upcoming homework assignments.